episode, I will tell you how to document your code using JSDoc. Here we have a simple JavaScript class, which happens to be a Jira client library. It has constructor and a couple of methods. Let's install JSDoc locally and add this as dev dependency to our project. After that, in package.json file, we can define a command which will generate documentation. Let's pass the configuration file. I've prepared a very simple example in which we define that JSDoc should treat files placed in source directory as sources. All documentation will be built to docs folder. Let's check how it works by running a newly created npm command. As you can see, JSDoc created documentation folder inside our project. Let's locate index.html and open it. Now you can see our brand new documentation page. It's empty right now, so let's add some comments to the code to describe our Jira class. I start by adding a description to the class and document parameters in the constructor. We are using param tag to define each parameter. We start with its type, then comes the name, and finally a description. Let's describe all options. There is no return statement, so we can remove it from the docs. We use the structuring assignment that's why we also have to define our options parameter as an object. Let's see how it looks. Rerun docs command. Okay, now you see that our sidebar has a new member, Jira. We see the mind description and all constructor parameters with types and descriptions. This was simple. Now I will improve the docs a little bit. We can add some JavaScript examples by using the example tag. Let's describe how developers can initialize this class with all parameters. And then invoke first function projects. See tag links docs to Jira documentation page. Lastly, define some to-do note. After refreshing the documentation, we see all the changes we've made. There is an example block with the link and to-dos. Now let's move our documentation one step further. Here we have another method without documentation. So let's document it as well. Similar as before, we add some method description and then describe its parameters. As you can see, category has a default value, so it's optional. In the documentation, we can also spec that by surrounding param name with square brackets. Method passes result received from the API to the return statement. We can also document it. In order to do this, we have to create a new data type. It will be a type dev tag. We give it a name and define its properties. Finally, let's use this type in the documentation of return statement. Mark it as an array and add some description. On the page, we have the new method documented. We see that response we've defined is here. We can click it and see all the fields. I missed the definition of options object. Let's fix that. Okay, now it looks better. The last thing I'm gonna show you is how to add custom tutorials to the sidebar, here. 
I go back to our configuration file and define where tutorials will be. Create the folder and add the first tutorial. Let's name it Starting Guide. It is a simple markdown file. Fill it with some text and add some code example. Refer to docs. And as expected, we have a new section in our sidebar. Unfortunately, the tutorial title was taken from the file name. To fix that, we have to create tutorials.json file and map file names to titles. And this is it. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, subscribe the channel. There will be more episodes coming up next week.